Hello, everybody. Welcome again to another wonderful episode. And in this episode, we'll be addressing a question that was asked by one of our subscribers, that's Beloved B. And this is a simulation to the last post, which was on the moving average visualization and then trying to interpret it. And his question is, is this simple and clear? Could this be iterated for many stations at once? So he's asking if we could iterate this moving averages over a series of stations. Okay, let me restart the kernel. All right. So this is very possible. First, what we need to do is to create a list of the stations. So in here, I'm going to um, bring in some station lists. Okay, so. This is a list of stations. All I did was to create the name stations and then open the square brackets and in them indicate each individual location as the station name as a string, the longitude, and then the latitude. So we have Accra with it longitude and latitude. We have Abuja, same, and then Ogadugu, same. Now, from there, what we need to do is to keep this whole line what we use for the moving averages into a for loop. So I'm going to do here for STID in stations. And then I would indent everything under this because I want to perform all these things for each station one at a time. So for when I take the first station, maybe Accra, I need to go through this whole procedure, generate the year average plot, generate the moving average plot. And then before I come back to the next station. And also I would want to save each station in a separate output. So plt.save fig, that's to save the figure. And then when I take, because I've used the for STID in stations. Now, if I just bring STID, it means it will take line by line. So in the first case, when it's within the first part of the loop, it's taking this whole line that's Accra, its longitude and latitude. Now, Python indexing starts from zero. So if I call the index zero of the STID, it produces just a station name. So I want to use the station name as a means of saving the output plot. And I want to add an extension. So maybe plus dot PNG. Now bear in mind that the plus in this case is to concatenate strings. So I have the STID. In the case of Accra, that would be Accra.png. All right. So then bring that up. But then we can't use the PLT directly because you see it tells us undefined names. So it means I need to import the matplotlib. So import matplotlib.pyplot as PLT. And that should be good to go. And then I would also want to create a figure environment for the plot. So right here, I would create plt.figure. That means it should create a separate panel for each figure. And then, I mean, like a whole interface, a separate interface for each figure. In actual sense, it's like taking a sheet. It should create a different sheet for each figure. And then just save each figure on a different sheet. All right. Now, We've not created a title for the plot. So we can actually create a title for each plot. So we can have here plt.title. And then we want to use the station ID as a name. So st underscore ID zero would create the name as a title for the plot. That's just to make us easily identify our plot. Now, what we need to also change is the longitude values here so that we don't have fixed values. So we need to use, because the longitude is the item two for each row, item two. And Python indexing starts from zero. So that's zero, one, two. So that will be one. And then we'll change the latitude to two. And once we have this, that's all. We have a iterated plot and we expect it to work. So let's run this and see what the output would be. Okay. And so that provides us with a plot. Okay. All right, so I think the title didn't show. It was actually overwritten because of the 
uh, X array feature. I mean the data sets feature. So if I wanted to show it, means I have to bring it after the entire plot. So then put it here rather, and then let's rerun it. Okay, and then you have it showing, and that's exactly it. So if I go into my file explorer, I should be able to see the files saved. So in this directory, let me extend this down a bit. So in this directory, we have abuja.png, we have accra.png, and we should also have wagadugu.png. That's it. And that's how you get your iterated plots. In a subsequent video, I'll show you how to, you know, um, how to actually deal with all these iterations and where, when to know exactly where to place what um, structure or what syntax within a loop and then how to deal with it. Because positioning is very key. You need to understand the program from different angles before you can implement it. So I'll try to delve more into it in a subsequent video. Hope you enjoy this. Keep learning, keep programming, be the best that you can. And like I always say, it's always bigger and better on the other side. So keep pushing till you attain and then you make it. And then don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. If you already subscribed, give this video a thumbs up, like, share, and then comment. And we will address all your queries in subsequent videos. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a wonderful time. Bye.